Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon, everybody. My name is Bear. Bit of a rude awakening last time. Borleen! Our seeker hellion bled out by a brigand bloodletter. That's a lot of B words. That's really satisfying alliteration. At least we get a positive out of it. For now, though, gotta have a look at what our actual options are here. I want to go into the cove, I think. Either the cove or the warrens. It's becoming abundantly clear to me that we're gonna have to go through a short mission in either one of these before we can actually open up other options. So, let's go ahead and do that today. Probably gotta commit to some stress relief here as well, unfortunately. Despite it being very, very expensive and not really something I want to spend the money on right now. Oh, in fact, I'm sort of thinking I might not be able to do this that effectively. I could probably just dump off Viewpoint, actually. He has zero experience and a hundred stress. I don't think it's worth it to actually, uh, fix him. So let's just... Yeah, let's get rid of him. See you later, buddy. Another soul battered and broken. Cast aside like a spent torch. Well, I mean, when we see that he has literally a better replacement just waiting in the wings, unfortunately, he may just have to amount to a spare torch, man. I don't want to call him that, especially not to his face, because he'd probably murder me, but still, it's kind of true. Let's take Poer as well. The raw strength of youth may be spent, but his eyes hold the secrets of a hundred campaigns. Clumsy but faded. Really good, okay. It's acceptable. Uh, he's got Crush, Bellow, Defender, and Bolster. We're probably going to have to take him into the guild real quick. Uh, Plague Doctor actually would not be terrible, but I think I'd rather keep those slots open for the uh, characters that we haven't grabbed yet. We can't upgrade this yet either. I'm wondering why not. We have Blacksmith, Weaponsmithing, and Armorsmithing both up to rank 2 as well as the Guild, so I'm wondering maybe if it means that we have to get it up to that rank for Instructor Mastery? Has to be like beyond rank 2 or something like that. It's telling me the only prerequisites I have are for those all to be brought up to level 2, which I feel like I've done. So I'm curious to see what we have to do for that. We also have to acquire way more heirlooms, so that's obviously a top priority too. I don't think I'm actually going to commit anyone here. I think I'm just going to let... Oh god, I should commit the Antiquarian though. We've only got one of them and I'm going to need her quite a bit. So you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Let's just put her in the transept. That's fine. I don't want to spend the heirlooms on this yet because I rarely put people in the transept, I think. But for now, it'll have to do. And I'm going to let everybody else just slowly whittle away at that stress. Let's see if I can build a team maybe designed around relieving some stress, actually. That'd be nice. Let me build this right now. So we're going to throw this occultist out. Let me start with the bounty hunter up front. I kind of like that. Campion's got our stress heal. In fact, might have one of our only stress heals in the lineup right now. And then we've got ourselves the vessel and the arbalist could be a good back line here. The houndmaster, actually, not a bad idea either. I kind of like that. Let's do that and then let's throw the vestal in the back. That sounds good. Nice, easy lineup here. Nothing too fancy. Probably ought to get the job done, though. I don't think I have to take anybody into the guild either, thank goodness. That's going to save me a little bit of cash here as well. I might go into the blacksmith just to see. Indeed, we do have a couple of decent upgrades here. I might even go for the furnace. Trade in some busts for the furnace, save us a little bit of cash here. It's already a little too late for that, unfortunately. It would have only saved us 150 gold there, too. So, maybe not at the moment. Maybe we'll hang on to those heirlooms for something else a little more valuable. Uh, Rundell, unfortunately, cannot upgrade at all. Let's go to the guild real fast just to make sure we do have these, and I could probably make this cheaper as well. Although I have already done that to a considerable degree, so maybe I don't have to worry about it. To get to eight portraits, I'd have to trade in probably like the remainder of my busts. Oh, yeah. Can't even get there. Okay, so never mind. It's not worth it at all. So let's just do this. Target whistle's worth it. I'm not going to be able to use Blackjack that much. I might use Cry Havoc. I think I'm going to go ahead and equip this, actually. That seems like it's probably pretty valuable. Uh, she's already got her stuff ranked up. We've got his stress heal looking good, and the bounty hunter's all set. Although, I don't really want flashbang. Let's take finish him instead of flashbang. That, that seems a little better to me. Bam, bam. And I almost want uppercut, too. But come hither actually might not be that bad. I might give that a whirl. So let's go have a look at our trinkets. Probably not that many to choose from, but still worth a look. Uh, ooh, the camper's helmet. You know what? Yeah, we'll take that. Extra scouting chance and stress heals received while camping. It's totally useless, but better than nothing. Speaking of totally useless, these things are all still just terrible. Uh, I'm gonna do this. 
Just because the sacrifice we make isn't all that big, and there's no, like, debuff against other classes or anything, so that seems worth it to me. Gotta take one of our defender seals here, yeah! Woohoo! Oh man, super excited about that! And our Vestal and Houndmaster both rock nothing. Alright. Diseased Herb, also still not great, but we can sell them! There's some cash waiting if we grab those things, so yay! Yay! Two dog biscuits as well. Alright, so we're gonna go pretty light on the provisions this time. I do have to bring six torches just because we don't have any campfires here. I'll bring two of uh, those just to make sure, and then I'm gonna bring a, a few of each of these, considering we can remove negative quirks this way, and also there's a whole lot of bleed in the cove. Alright, that'll do. A little underprepared this time, but we'll probably be okay. Just a short mission in the cove. Haven't really had much trouble with the short missions thus far. I'm really hoping to be able to keep these guys in decent enough shape to uh, immediately follow it up with another mission today, but... We'll see, I guess. These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. Oh they my god. Be flushed out. Thank you for the scout, my goodness. This is- oh, you know what? This is totally pointless to go this way, though. This is a skirmish, so I think I'm just gonna grab this curio real fast and then back up. That'll do. Fortune. Waiting to be spent. Yeah, there's no reason for me to go right. Wastes a bunch of stress, wastes a bunch of our torchlight, which is precious, so I gotta go down this way. Uh, we do have to go that way, unfortunately, and that's a full hallway, so we've got at least two fights. And this one! Alright, we surprised them, but that is, holy balls, that is rough. They are not gonna be easy to kill, either. In fact, I probably wanted to consider using a, uh, using a dog treat for this one. This is looking pretty, br pretty goddamn bad. Let's stun you. Ideally, there we go. Maybe another stun here, actually, with the stunning blow would be nice. Spread out the damage almost as much as I possibly could have here, but you know what? I'm pretty happy with the result. I'm okay with the uh, overall picture here. Because taking this physical damage actually is not that bad. Of course, we got the Vestal, so we should be able to handle it pretty effectively. And they're not really hurting us that much either. I was a lot, I was a lot more worried about this than maybe I ought to have been. Two damage per turn. He's still going to take two turns here. Definitely want to heal him next. Okay. All right. Yeah, now they're starting to poke. Yep. Yep. All right. Group heal's still good here anyway. He's going to die no matter what. Don't need to worry about him for next turn. That's sort of a blessing there. And now... Let's just do that. Okay. Fine by me. Zealous Accusation works pretty well here. Thank you for the good heals. Oh, I don't have Zealous Accusation. That's all right. I don't need to do a Stress Relief. Let's just kill one. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Holy cow. Two down. He will likely get his action. I'm still not going to use a Dog Biscuit, obviously. Got max damage out of that. All right. And that... Oh, that right there. Balanced. Oh. That should be the end of our punishment here. I think. Thank you. I think that's all we're gonna have to deal with. Maybe one more hit. Oh, goodness. Alright, we might be able to get out of here. Come on, don't you fucking do it. Don't do it. No, come on! Oh. The one health enemies. Their formation is broken. The bane of my existence. God damn. I'm so salty about it. Stop living! You savages! You giant fish demons! That's pretty good. Only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Probably about time I did that as well. Alright, let's start out by going down here. Obviously, we are uh, gonna have to go all the way to the end of this hallway, so... Well, not obviously, actually. It's not even necessarily a guarantee, but still the safer play to go down first. Dog Biscuit sounds good. And we probably want to kill you first. Okay. That means the Vestal's attack is definitely going to go back here, which means she can't heal, unfortunately, so I probably want to consider trying to kill one of these guys real quick. Might be possible. 10 damage out of the Crusader isn't... Extremely unlikely. The judgment gotta land here. Thank you. As the enemy Perfect. All right, got a little heal on the vessel there as well. Ten damage. Ah! 
God damn it. Alright, they're starting to, uh... They're starting to make a priority back here. I probably ought to... Help her out just a smidgen more. There we go. We're not getting out of here unscathed. I mean, we're already taking a hefty amount of damage. My god. Okay. Give them no quarter. It's quite enough of that. Still got our dog biscuit effect, of course. Let me try to uh try to make things a little bit better for each individual person here. Now let's just try to get the stunning blow. Precision and power. Yeah! Take that, you stupid maggot! I hope you go home and have to decompose some feces to sustain your livelihood. Yeah. What do you think of that, stupid maggot? Stupid maggot, I'm going to deal one damage per turn. How's that feel? Bet it feels bad. Just like these poor heels. These weak ass heels, they feel bad. I know what it's like to be a maggot. I understand your struggle. I don't. I really don't. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Oh, don't tell me that right now. We're fine. We got this one shovel here. We're gonna do just fine. No problem. Hey, look at that. Even heightened resilience. And you say we have to worry. Gaffar. Jafar. Aladdin 2, Jafar's Revenge. All right. It's the first little bit of stress we've been subjected to, honestly. Oh, come on now. No, no, no. Wow. What an attack from the jellyfish. I didn't know you had it in you, buddy. Well done. I'm impressed. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm going to try to kill you now, though. Although, you might be the better target. Let me go for the back here. That big old spearfish damage, yep. That's gonna keep happening. It really sucks. I'm really glad we have the Vestal for this. Otherwise, we would be in a, a little spot of bother here, I think. Bad humors is really tough to deal with, too. That's a... Uh, that's a multiple affliction ailment, I believe. Let me have a look at this again, if we can get to it. Don't give him it, too. This dude's just spreading disease around like the goddamn Black Plague over here. Alright, Crusader. What do you got? Bad humors. Oh, that hurts. Wow. That is... That is like minus nine health or something. Ow. Alright, there we go. Big boon there. Let me try to stun this guy. I'm also going to try to kill the tentacle beast. There we are. Uh, I could use Dazzling Light and then finish off the Stinger with the Crusader, although we could also just do this. There we go. Unfortunately, leaving him alive, but... I imagine we're gonna be able to fix that pretty quickly here next turn. Ideally, he'd just heal himself. That's not gonna happen, though. Alright. Alright. It's alright. Very good. And that is enough. Very nice. Okay, now we can focus on the healing a little bit more. Bueno! Making it happen, baby. He does not have... Oh, no, he does have protection. Okay, so there we go. Quite effective there. Only a minor bleed. Not too bad. Now we can actually get some damage on that motherfucker. Shaman's down. Boom. Boom. I am gonna bandage this. Extra damage against the mark, right? Very good. And the Hound's Rush, too. Almost. Almost. Gives us a chance to heal, though, so that's nice. And down we go, right? Down we go! Beautiful. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? And the fish idol, I want to say, is bad. So I'm going to use it with you. And get rid of that. There we go. Hooray for simple solutions to simple problems. It's the way the world should work. In its entirety. 
Why is anything complex? That's just silly. Keep it simple, stupid. Earth? Entire planet? Why haven't you learned that lesson by now? So our individual damage is unfortunately pretty underwhelming here. The lack of trinkets, I'm sure, is not helping us that much. I also just realized how generally ineffective this is. <laughs> now that I know that we're on a short mission. Oh yeah, that's not that good. The extra scouting chance is all we got out of that, and I guess it benefited us pretty early on, so you know what? Maybe it is pretty good. Maybe I ought to not be so goddamn pessimistic about it. Ooh! Well done! Alright, one down. Still uh, holding on to that extra dog biscuit for this room battle, of course, but... Oh, I gotta... I gotta think about maybe getting rid of some stress here and not losing my bounty hunter. Okay. Yep. No, oh, don't do that! Not now! I mean, we're not really in huge danger of losing him, but... This is sort of scary. There we go. Like, it's sort of scary! Whoa! I'm a little, I'm a little freaked out! Ugh. Okay, it's getting worse. Come on, man! Why do the Houndmasters gotta be missing? All these goddamn Houndmasters gotta be missing all the goddamn time. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. All right, taking all that. Gotta keep this bounty hunter alive, and now there's that too. Beautiful. Okay, that'll work. Let's finish this, ideally. Oh, it's rough too. Okay, no surprise attack, but we do get to use our. Uh, we do get to use our dog treat this time. So much stress already. Okay, here we go. Do I want to begin? Probably with the Shaman, yeah. Would have been able to kill him. Oh, no, actually, the bleed would have been high enough, but nearly there with the max damage attack. Okay, so healing is definitely still a good option, although I could risk this being the final fight and instead just try to play to close it out more quickly to avoid stress, ideally. It's, oh, I can't get the bonus damage against the stun target either. That sucks, so let's just do this. Maybe be able to get one of these groupers down before the next round here. Very nice. All right, that's a big boon. That's a bonus for us. And that's basically a wasted turn by the Guardian. I can just, of course, change my priority here to take down the grouper if I get the first attack, which might happen. If Bounty Hunter moves first, that would be so helpful. Thank you very much. Nice. All right, uh, heal is still not 100% necessary, and his guard is still up, so let's try to stun him real fast. Beautiful. And now the Crusader might even be able to take an opportunity for some stress healing here, although he's still alive. There's nothing we can do about that, so I am going to go ahead and do this this time. The crit and got rid of 11. Very good. All right, that's a big help. He's probably going to end up going first. Yeah, I sort of expected that. And there's the stress wave for two targets. Hooray! That is just absurd! That's so much stress! Impressive. Why can he target two people? It's silly! It's like 40 or 50 stress in one attack! God damn! I was like trying to focus him too, I thought I was at least. Alright, well... I am kind of banking on this being the final fight, so here's hoping it does end up working out that way. I would like to... Is lit. The path is clear. Hmm. We require only the strength to follow it. I think I'm gonna try. I didn't swap off Blackjack for that stress heal, by the way. I'm regretting that. I'm gonna try to get the Houndmaster back down to a manageable level and then maybe be able to bring him back out for the next round. Let's do that. Oh goodness! Wow, the mark on that guy is insanely beneficial for the bounty hunter. That is so good. Just in case we have to keep going after this, I will go ahead and heal him up, and let's just do that. Alright. That's... that's... acceptable. I think I could bring him back out for the next one. We'll have to see, I guess. Uh, I don't really need to do anything else. That'll work! And there it is. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. 
No scout, unfortunately. I will go through here and see what we got available, though. Oh, nice! That's exactly what I wanted to see. Alright, who's got something I want to get rid of here? Uh, Fingophobia. Wield Phobe and Cove Phobe are both pretty bad. And this is a decent Vestal, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of one of these for her. That is awesome. Yay! Wield Phobe removed. That was the locked in one, so that's fantastic. Good stuff. All right, don't want to do the next fight. Let's get out of here. At last, wholesome marine life can flourish. If indeed there is such a thing. Goody, goody. Not a ton of money out of that. Only like seven or eight grand, but... If you crest the diseased herb, hooray. And then two points of experience for everybody. So really not that good. Oh, and then look at all those beautiful negative quirks we all get to enjoy. Terrific! What a beautiful presentation of success. All the decadent horrors I have seen pale in comparison to that final crowning thing. Yeah. I could not look, nor could I look away. Oh, man, all that stress on everybody. Oh, my God. Stagecoach, another man at arms. Hellion and a bounty hunter. I could use another Hellion, I guess. Let's go ahead and take Munville. Barbaric rage and unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. Indeed. All right. Let's realign this crew here. Not going to be able to bring out most of these guys. The Houndmaster could stick around. I guess that's not that bad. Let's go to the Warrens now, too. Let's go ahead and clear out both of these short missions on uh, the Warrens and the Cove to be able to unlock some better stuff, ideally. So who do we bring to the Warrens? Could be Tornai. Torn Eye. I like that name. Uh, could go with a full uh, lineup of new folks here as well, in fact. How about something like this? Hellion Abomination. We can throw an Arbalist in the back there, maybe? We could also go with the Occultist, who's pretty low health right now. I don't have to bring a healer here. I bet I could get away with going with something like... a Man-at-Arms... and an Arbalist. It's a lot of damage in the back as well as up front, and the Abomination, of course, is gonna help us out a lot, too. Yeah, I like that enough. Let's do that. That could work. A little crazy, but... I think it's gonna be effective enough. Alright, let's sort by level here. I don't think I'm going to be able to upgrade anyone. Apart from maybe the Arbalist. I don't think I've got the uh, level 3 unlocked though yet, do I? I do not. Oh yeah, that's still a ways away too. We gotta get more deeds. Where are the deeds coming from? I need to find some more. Guild, probably not going to happen here as well. The Arbalist's already up to rank 2 and all that stuff. These guys are all level 0, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, do I even want to commit stress relief here? I'd love to get rid of that disease on Campion. So maybe I ought to do this right now. Let's go ahead and do that, yeah. Can I make this better? I can reduce the treatment cost. It's probably worth it. The front line of this war is not in the dungeon, but rather inside the mine. That'll do. And as far as stress relief goes, I know there's quite a few that are up there. 9,000 gold. What, what should I do? I could... I guess I could spend the... bus and the crest on the transept, but it doesn't really seem worth it. I think I'd rather just throw somebody in there to fix them up, and I think the occultist is gonna be a top priority here. I gotta get one of our healers available, especially one that could team up with the abomination. Maybe get Vayne as well. You know what? It's probably beneficial to have both. Let's go ahead and do her as well. Go to the bar! There we go! All right, seven grand left. I think everybody else is gonna be fine. I'll just slowly whittle away at their stress here in the estate. Ditton, I would like to fix up, but I think she'll be okay. All right, let's go to the warrants, baby. No more torchless. Have learned my lesson there. Oh, we gotta check the guild for these guys as well. And this is not not a terrible selection of skills for our Hellion here. Bleed out as actually is kind of okay here in the uh, in the warrants. I don't like your skill set, so I'm going to have to go change that right away. And the guild with man-at-arms, or sorry, no, that's the blacksmith. Guild time. Got to go rampart for sure, and then retribution. Like those two way too much not to have them. Let's go ahead and do that. That's my ideal skill set there for the man-at-arms, I think. Abomination all set, arbalist all set. Let's rock it! Quick trinket check, just to make sure I'm not missing out on any benefits. Uh, Manslayer's Ring actually might be decent. I'm gonna go ahead and give that to the Abomination, I think. And that'll probably be it. I've got my Vengeful Greaves for the Arbalist. Plus one crit! 
Yay! That's I, I mean it's not it's not awful. Let's <laughs> let's give that one a small smattering of credit for maybe being sort of useful. All right, no healer, which means we're gonna bring a full supply of food. I'm gonna bring six torches again, even though I didn't need nearly that many last time. We'll bring two sh two uh, shovels as well. Oh, we do need torches for the uh, for the scroll piles and the warrens. I forgot about that. So definitely useful there. I'll bring some herbs and a key, and that'll do. Into the warrens we go. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more cash this time. Although, of course, we're gonna prioritize staying alive and not doing anything completely idiotic through the course of this. They breed quickly down there in the dark, but perhaps we can slay them even faster. Yo, oh, goodness! Bad start. Oh, bad start. All right. Oh, the... The dungeon weaves with a troubling serpentine suggestion. What horrors befall us this day? Time will tell. Dull and uninteresting. Just like this dungeon so far. Got him! Never mind. That's even better. Thank you for the Manslayer's Ring. That was... That was extremely handy. Alright, so... If it bleeds... Great start for this guy. It does indeed. Let me see now. Uh, oh, you know what? I don't know about this man-at-arms here in the spot 2 anymore. I could defend pretty effectively and... Oh, you know what? This isn't great. I might have to realign his skill set here. I can make him more of a utility man at arms, I guess, which is fine. Keep him defending people. He's not going to deal too much damage, I guess, is what I got to, or what I've got to come to terms with. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just defend. Defend and retribution. I'm going to have him take basically all of the damage here. That's my plan. And Beast Bile is not bad, but I think I'd rather just transform and do a ton of damage. Although, I could stun as well. Hold up a tick here. This is going to be two per turn. Not really that effective. I think I'd rather stun somebody, and it's probably going to be... Well, if I deal five damage here, then he dies. And if not, then he gets stunned, right? Hey, there we go. And then he dies next turn. So, wow, yeah, that's fantastic. That's extremely good. All right, so we basically took care of the back line here. It's only going to be the blood letter that we have to deal with in round two. That sort of sucks, though. Oh, God, yeah. We need her adrenaline rush. That would have been amazing. I don't know why I didn't equip that. That would be so much better. So much better than bleed out right now. Or breakthrough, even. Oh, well. We'll give her some food at the end of this. This is a... Uh, it's a tough fight. It's going to be uh, dealing some damage to me here, so I'm not... I'm not expecting to get out of this without having too much trouble. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offense. Retribution's still good. I could go for Rampart, actually. It's not a bad idea. Get the stun. There it is. Nice. Alright, totally worth it to knock the Abomination back there. I could even just stress heal with him this turn and then hopefully rely on other people to uh, figure out the damage necessary on the Bloodletter. Bleed out could work out. Five per turn. Holy shit, that's awesome. And now a crush. Nearly there. Come on, Arbalist. Alright, he's gonna die no matter what, so, uh... Yeah, that'll do. That's fine. That is fine by me. Get the crit. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Oh, boy. So, yeah, this is... Oh, this is interesting now with the man-at-arms. I thought you could crush from position three, but I guess I was mistaken about that. So I could swap that off for Bellow or Bolster and really not be losing out on too much. This is not that bad of a move either. Bellow might be, uh, might be a little bit better than I g initially gave it credit for here. I want to get rid of that for sure, but that's only going to be three rounds. So you know, that's going to go away by itself. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow. And a single portrait for your troubles. Aha! And another surprise attack. Beautiful. All right, where are we dealing the majority of the damage here? I probably want to stun the drummer. Let's go ahead and get that started. I'll target the wretch as well. Obviously, that stress from the back is not ideal. I wish I had taken the time to give her Iron Swan and Adrenaline Rush. That would have been so much better here. Breakthrough's not bad, but I'm going to hold on to that for later. Let's try to kill this... Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. Shit. All right, let's just try to bleed this thing. 
Bleed it like a stuck pig. And you're not gonna die. How about a crit? That's a lot of damage still. Let's do bellow, yeah. Oh, it actually deals some damage too, wow. Oh shit, okay, I thought that was just like a pure debuff. Damn. Damn, Bello is kind of useful. All right then. I will uh I will keep that in mind for future man at arms applications. Uh you're still going to be alive, so let's go ahead and throw a beast bile on you. Now nah, their blight resistance is pretty good. How about transforming? Seems about time for it. Rake would probably take out the carrion eater. Let's find out. Nah, not quite. Not quite, but probably worth the damage buff next turn anyway. That's alright, that's alright. Getting some stress now as well. That's not making me too happy. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. We're still looking okay though. Blind fire is a pretty damn good chance of to oh, you know what? No, I gotta take this guy out before he moves though. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. That would have been a little silly. All right, no big damage. Come on now. Take it easy. Nice. Manslayer's ring really not doing us. Well, it did probably help us out quite a bit in that first fight, didn't it? Ooh. Ooh. Terrible assault Ooh. Left unanswered. Oh, God. Okay, I'll probably transform down here. Got to avoid this uh, further stress damage. And let me, let me bellow again, actually. Nearly took out the wretch with that, but... That's okay. Let's do that. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Definitely transform down. Maybe even use uh, absolution here. Although I could probably get away with just trying to stun this guy too. Nice. Perfect. Love it. Seize this momentum. Push on to the tasks and hidden compartment. Good stuff. Or another key there too. All right. Look at that. All right, not too great thus far. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. The dungeon has posed a few problems I didn't really expect. The stress is starting to pile up a little bit. I gotta make sure I take out those ba or ba 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 backliners. I gotta make sure I take out those backliners pretty quick. Nice dodge as well. We still got a couple of torches here, kind of burning through them pretty quickly. Let's just make sure we're going to be okay for these final couple of rooms, and this one's a little tough. Might be another transformation opportunity here. Good dodge. Alright, this is the the brunt of the force here as far as the stress is concerned. The mark target there as well is sort of, sort of worrisome. I think I'm transforming here as well. Let me see if I can take out one of these guys right away with the rage. That's likely, actually. Let's do that. Nice! Very good. I'll take that return shot. Bleed's fine. Bello works here too, but I could go with Retribution, uh, but he's not going to get targeted by that much. Let's do this instead. That way, ideally, we're going to be acting first for the most part as well. Extremely beneficial if that ends up being the case. In fact, oh my god. If next turn we all just get to act first because of that? Oh my god, the value. Ridiculous. And I'd love to kill you. Yay! Yay, murder! Woohoo! Uh, decent shot. Oh, minimal damage. Got the bleed, but not really gonna be that helpful. I'll try to just kill you. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Unfortunate usage of our Hellion's turn there. Let's see if I can get the stun. Hell yeah! Okay! The team is working much, much better nowadays. It seems more like what I ought to have uh, experienced in the first couple of runs. Or the first couple of fights, I guess. Here we go. Yeah, I get this off too. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Little by little bit, he'll probably get his attack off, which is fine. Oh, never mind! Yeah, Balliol! 
These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Oh, very good. Wow, look at that buff. Holy shit. Go bone altar. Damn, I did not know that was a thing. That is tremendous. Okay, there's a... Oh, we actually still have a decent supply of food as well. I was expecting that to be nearly the uh, the entirety of it, but we're looking okay. Not too shabby. Stress is the biggest issue. If we can get out of here without uh, putting a resolve check on somebody, I'm going to call it a win, but that probably won't happen now. All right. Let's see. Uh, to start off with, Beast Bile, definitely not going to be the best play. Manacles could work. Let me try to prevent some more of this stress here from the... from the wretch. Now the breakthrough sounds tempting, but I'm actually gonna go with the Wicked Hack on the Slasher here. A chance to kill this thing is pretty nice. Not too bad. Bola! Worth it? Worth it. Definitely. Madman gets away without taking any damage here, but I could potentially stun these two before the fight even really goes underway. And that would be invaluable. Oh my god, yeah. Hell yes. If that's the worst of what we have to take out of that lineup, I will I will happily oblige. For nine stress or less per character. Not too shabby. Alright, next. Manacles, probably not going to be enough. They've got that stun resistance now as well, though it's really not that high still. 100 against 50, it's still a 50% chance. Okay, nice. Wow, that is awesome. And there's the resolve check. All right. Oh, it's so, oh my goodness, so close. Yes. Stick with it, Hellion. And there goes the wretch. All right. Big problem down. Now we focus this one. I guess. I really should be attacking the madman, but I don't, I don't really have any options to do so at the moment. Yeah, oh, that's bad. Still got the bandage. There we go. And let me, uh... I guess we can do that. We can reduce their speed again. That's fine. Never mind. <laughs> We're not doing anything. Fine. Okay, we avoided it for long enough. Let's see it. Let's see it, Hellion. What do you got? Masochistic! Those who covet injury find it in no short supply. Boys, Livsk! Good job, boy. Proud of you. You are taking forever in a day to kill. All right, just sniper shots forever on the madman. No bleed here, so we're just going to have to go with the damage. There it is. All right, man. You've had your fun, right? I'm going to give you a heart attack! That is rude. Almost there. There it is. Oh man. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Full clear! Oh fuck! Oh god, no! Oh the stress! Oh god, this is a nightmare! I should have left! Oh, I should have left! How terrible! Alright, well, maybe we can avoid one. And there's the rest of it. God damn it, that was like the worst thing I could have seen just like immediately after deciding to go further. Hey, how about stress for your entire party? No? That doesn't sound good. That sounds great to us. Sounds like a fun time. Impressive. Yay, alright, well at least they're all pretty damn weak. But they still get to act first for the most part as well, unless we get that off, which works. Stuns! Yay! And the bellow nearly had enough effect, but we still get to have that last little bit. Luckily, that doesn't matter too much for her. But she does clearly have the capability of making everyone else's lives a lot worse. Self-preservation is paramount at any cost. Oh my goodness. Well, we get to Bola again, I guess. Or do that. Yay! Blind fire for fun! Perfect. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Hey, at least we get a sweet ass buff though, right? That's pretty dope. Oh yeah, we actually got a decent trinket out of this too. Yeah, the stun amulet. 
Not too bad. All right. I don't think I should go in this room, honestly. This is a bad idea. All right. Worked out. Let's get out of here. Some experiments should have never happened. You are doing just work ending them. The agility talent. Also not a totally useless trinket for the bounty hunter. Thank God. Got some deeds, some crests, some portraits out of that. Not entirely useless. Misses the spot on our Hellion, though. That's that's sort of rough. Okay, bad, bad stress. Let me share with you oh! the terrible wonders I have come to know. God damn it, Ferraris, Ferraris! Lost a thousand gold. Fuck. Oh, God. Okay. Some level twos, some level ones, and all that stuff. Yay! Thanks for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did as well. Appreciate that. I'll see you next time.